This is update number 13 to my N-scale layout. It really was too cold earlier this week to do any uh, spray painting in my garage, um, but it occurred to me that when the Wyoming Department of Transportation repairs a road, they don't really worry about matching the color of the new pavement to the old pavement. And I did have a couple bottles of black and white paint, so I mixed up some gray. And I'm not real good at color matching, but I was able to get it reasonably close. So my road is just going to look like a road that's had some repairs made to it. And I'm not quite done yet, so there may be some more repairs in the uh, near future. Other than that, I still have a little bit of work to do on the road. Uh, as you can see, looks like the town took the Christmas decorations off their pine tree there. And I did work on the dirt roads here. The dirt road, as you can see, that leads up to the cement plant. And also the dirt road here that's eventually going to go into the oil facility. Um, as I often do, I mixed up far too much sculpta mold to just do those two little projects. So I ended up doing a lot of shoulder work along the road. It's not quite completely done, but I've made some progress there. So that was a good thing, I guess. Other than that, I am working on the uh, rebuilt loading dock for the town, which will kind of go right by where those two boxcars are parked. I haven't quite completed that yet. Um, I was able to reuse some parts from the original, which will save me a little bit of time. Uh, and it should be done in the near future. Um, other than that, you, if you've been watching these videos, you may remember that a week or two ago, I had a problem with a boxcar that was following this locomotive coming off the track fairly consistently. And I weighed that boxcar, and it was right on weight, and I checked the uh, wheels and they were properly aligned um, and it is a box car with a uh, truck mounted coupler uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with this a truck mounted coupler is like the two on the right hand side of the picture here and the truck on the left has no coupler and it would go on this car right here. You can see that the coupler is mounted on the body. Um, and the car I have following the locomotive right now has body mounted couplers. And it generally can stay on the track with this locomotive. Um, what I found on trying the locomotive with a variety of different cars is that when it goes around a sharp curve, it pulls the coupler to the outside of the curve. I don't know if you can see that. And with a truck mounted coupler, it will pull the car following it off the track. So I'm going to just have to experiment with my longer wheelbase locomotives and see which of them I can successfully run along this layout and which of them are a little bit too long and may get traded off for other locomotives. I have plenty of shorter wheelbase locomotives, so that's not a problem. Uh, other than that, I really haven't done too much else. One other thing I did want to show you, just for curiosity, uh, there has been a question about the interior, so I just want to, you can't really see this, but there is one interior which I've completed, and that's one of the buildings which I will attempt to provide some lighting to at some point in the future so that you'll be able to see that. Uh, other than that, I don't think I've really done anything else this week, uh, so that's about it.